Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a linear spiral all in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So you can see I'm now in Illustrator and I've got a new document, a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. First thing I'm going to do is go up to view and down to snap to pixel. I'm gonna switch this off. I don't want it snapping to the pixel and the point illustrator sometimes can get a little bit confused. So I'm gonna turn that off and just leave snap to point selected. Boom, there we go. And you can see I'm up in the corner now. Woo, hello, look at me. So there we go. And uh, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is actually just go and demonstrate the spiral tool. So if I hover over the line tool, left click and hold, we can see the spiral tool and we can click and drag and draw a lovely, pretty spiral. There we go. And we can left click on the artboard and we get various options, which is all fine. But something you'll notice with the spiral tool is that it gets larger towards the edge or smaller as you go towards the center. So the difference here is that a linear spiral is gonna have a consistent width all the way throughout. So no matter how big your spiral gets, it will always stay the same width between the lines. So what we're gonna use for this is, well, we're gonna go back to the spiral option up here, left click and hold again, and go down to the polar grid tool. Now this is something that I don't actually use very often, but if I click and drag it, create something like this. Well, actually, no, it doesn't normally. It creates something a little bit more like this. Just so I don't confuse anyone, it will normally look a bit like that by default. So what we're gonna do again is just left click on the artboard and it brings up this dialog box, lots of options here. And we're gonna set the concentric dividers to, well, any number really, you can have 10, 20, 30. These are the rings around the edge, so the number of rings that you're going to want to have. So if you want a more complex linear spiral, just increase the number. If you'd like fewer lines and something a bit more simple, drop that number down. Radial dividers, as you saw, were the ones that go from or towards the center. So we'll set that to zero. So these are the only two options we've changed, concentric dividers and radial dividers. Click OK, and we get something like this. And I'm just gonna scale that up holding shift, just so it doesn't uh, distort out of shape. And of course, we're gonna have to pop that roughly in the center. So there we go, we've got some concentric circles. That's, that's a great start. What we're going to do next is grab the direct selection tool and just drag over the top half. Now only the top half. We don't want to catch these anchor points here at that midpoint in them. So make sure you don't select those. Just the top half with the direct selection tool and then go up to edit, down to cut. And what cut does is essentially it will copy that selection to the clipboard and then delete it. So we've deleted it, it's now on our clipboard. And if we just switch back to the main selection tool and just click anywhere on the workspace to deselect the current selection. We can then go to edit and paste in place and it will paste that back in, which is fantastic. And we can just grab the zoom tool, zoom in. And I like to go super close. And then with the main selection tool, we can drag this to the right. And I'm gonna hold shift. If I don't hold shift, you can see it moves up and down. Holding shift will keep it perfectly in line and you can see it snaps in place. So we're just gonna shuffle everything along one. And if I go up to view, you can see I've got smart guides turned on and snap to point turned on. So it just makes it so much easier snapping things together in Illustrator. So you should get something that looks like that. So for the next part, what we're going to do is drag over everything to select it and go up to object down to ungroup. You may need to do this a couple of times. Just keep doing it until you can no longer ungroup. So now everything is ungrouped. These are all individual lines and we can move them around and mess everything up. So let's undo that. So now that these are all individually selectable objects, what we can do is go in, grab the main selection tool and I'm just going to click and delete every other line. So misalign, and I'm holding shift by the way. So holding shift and clicking allows me to select multiple objects at once. Select this one, misalign, select, miss this one, select this one. So you can see where I'm going with this. 
I'm just going to select every other line whilst keeping shift held. And if I hit delete or backspace on the keyboard, you can see what I'm trying to do. So I'm just removing every other line until we get something that looks like this. So I've done the first half. Now it's just a case of going through and doing the same again. So click, hold shift, click, click. And every time I'm just missing a line. This can make your eyes go a little bit funny if you've got a very complicated spiral. I'm gonna try not to mess this up. And then with all those selected, delete or backspace on the keyboard and voila, we have deleted them and we are left with our linear spiral. And we could grab the direct selection tool and select this anchor point here and hit delete, hit this one here, hit delete. If we wanted to make our spiral shorter at a later date. And there we go, that's essentially what it looks like. And we can now drag over everything and go to object, down to path and select join. And it will link up all of those different lines, those different anchor points, it will connect them all. So we can move this around now as one complete shape. And the best thing about this is because of the way we've created it, you can see that this still has a stroke. So we can click on this and we can actually add a color if we wanted. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick a color at random and we can adjust properties like stroke weight. We can click on the stroke option here, or if you don't see this, if you are on an older version of Illustrator, just go up to window, down to stroke, and you'll see this pop up here. And then we can get a few more options by clicking on the menu icon. So we've got lots of stroke properties. This is all still fully editable. We can round off the cap. We can add dashed lines. You can go absolutely bananas here. So let's just thicken that up. So that's one of the advantages of still keeping everything as strokes or outlines because you just get that extra degree of flexibility. And there we go. That's how to create a linear spiral all in Adobe Illustrator. So if you've got any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time. You're a rebel.